Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on the different types of IV tubing, specifically primary, secondary, as well as IV extension tubing. Now the primary tubing is always used for the primary line, which in many cases is some sort of IV maintenance fluids, such as normal saline, lactated ringers, D5 half normal saline, those kind of solutions. And for that, we will need our primary IV set. And on the packaging, it'll always tell you what this is. So in this case, this is a clear link system, continue flow set, and it shows us the drops per ml. And remember from your um, medication math or dosage calculation quizzes, when it comes to drips and drip rates, you always need to know the drops per milliliter that the IV tubing is providing. And the packaging will tell you exactly that. So in this case, this is 10 drops per ml. And for the most part, it doesn't really matter what this says if you're using IV and IV pump because then the pump regulates the volume that it pulls. And, but if you're using free flowing, so if you were in a power outage or you didn't have an IV pump available, then you would use um, drops per mil to calculate how many drops per minute you would need to administer to the patient to give the exact dosage that they need and the rate that they need. So going back, to the primary IV tubing, it is longer and it has several ports and it here even tells you that it has two lure lock, lure lock activated um, valves and we'll go over those on them in a moment. And then the secondary medication set looks like this. It actually says secondary medication set. Again, it tells you the drops per ml. And then if you look at it, it's, a, um, it's much shorter and we'll take a look at the other um, tubing here in comparison. So you can see that there's a lot more tubing involved here on the primary set. And the secondary set always comes with this little hook that allows you to piggyback it to the primary set and check out my separate video that goes into that. And the other type of tubing I have pulled out here is this IV extension tubing. And this is just a very short tubing and it depends on what kind of IV access or IV catheters the facility that you're working at is using. Many a times the IV catheter already has this IV tubing attached to it, so you don't have to worry about it. But if it's just the needle as well as the cathlon, then you need to hook it up to something and this IV extension tubing will work for that. So this part with the lure lock will go onto the patient's IV catheter and then this will be locked here and then we can hook up the primary tubing right to this port. So these are the most common types of IV tubings that you'll see. Please also check out my other videos where I actually go into priming secondary and primary IV bags and lines. Thanks for watching.